So today is the final full day. We are officially late. It's already 10:20. We were, we were supposed to leave at nine, but we did not. The weather is not that great today, but it's still better than day one. This is the weather today. But uh, let's see. We have to travel 100 kilometers now. Looks really amazing. This road, that's the Jasmine Bridge. We are heading out now, so let's go. We need to fill the petrol as well. So we are just heading out to Hastings Caves, and this is really good. The place is amazing, and the drive is perfect as usual. So I think we'll reach there in like I don't know, 40 minutes. We have arrived at the Hastings Caves and Thermal Springs. We literally see no one over here. So let's go to the information center and check it out. We literally, there's just one car, which is ours. I'll show you. Nothing here, nothing there. And that's the information center. Information center, and we're just heading inside to check. And it started raining now. These people, they tried to steal my food. But I, I'm brave and I fought off everyone like a king. <laughs> But this guy got afraid. This is the area which is closed because of the flooding. I think the walks are over there as well, which we cannot do today. So we are just having some coffee. So the tour starts at noon, so we have to drive five kilometers from here. Are you guys excited? Let's see the last day, so everyone is a bit sad, but we get out. These are different locations that are available over here. Not sure where we are heading after this, but we might go to this historic railway. Let's see now. Yes. We are here at the springs. No, sorry, the caves. And this looks amazing. So the road is like that. This looks really, really good though. They said it's going to be cold. So everyone is getting up now. We'll just wait here because a tour doesn't really start until 2 and it's only 1.30 so we'll just click some photos before the tour starts and there's this cabin as well I think we have to go here we are just walking to the entrance and this place is amazing this place is amazing and aesthetic for photo shoots so good photos can be clicked here We're just heading to the cave entrance now. It's a five minute walk and the walk is all the way like this. So this is the information for the caves. But this looks amazing. I think this is the start of the cave. We're heading inside the cave now. So it's a 45 minute tour. We're inside the cave now. And this looks pretty amazing. I don't know how it's getting captured in camera, but we can't use flashes here. Oh, this is how it looks. Uh, this is good. Now, when that rain is coming through the sky, it's cut to carbon dioxide. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now, is it pretty feeling? It just goes down and down, but the space is amazing to have a view. Down. We know that because there's no hole running through the middle of it, so it never existed as a straw. Mm -hmm. Now, somebody who's asked me before, like the oldest one in here in the cave, we don't know. It's just going deeper and deeper into the cave now. It's quite dark. So we are at the end of the cave now. Everyone is just taking photos over here. Yeah, it's just here at the end. This location. Now, because we are. Gonna take photos now. Everyone needs to take good photos in the caves now. I think this is a photo section of the caves. This looks, this looks really nice. Good. This is the last part. This looks really, really good. This place is really, really good. That way was perfect. The caves was an amazing experience. The only problem. 
they should add additional 15 minutes <laughs> whatever you want to click for at least 10 minutes or 15 minutes yes because it was a bit rushy at the end it's but beautiful but it was really good worth it 24 dollars now 18 19 dollars no no 24 bro yeah. this is we're heading just back to the car now i think it was a fun experience did you guys like the caves yeah, I tied up it, but it's closed unfortunately. The train thing, but basically, this is the track. But we uh, there is no sign of a train here, and it's been closed for two years, so don't come here. <laughs> so now we are heading to Dover, which is a town just at the start. Are you how are you feeling, Sanika? Unfortunately, the railway was closed, but it's fine now. We'll eat something, and it has started to rain. But this place looks good. If this would have been functioning, then it would have been good. So we are here just at a lookout. We have just stopped our cars now for this view. This looks really amazing. This place is really amazing. So, but there's nothing around here. Literally in the middle of nowhere. I think this is just the information of the entire valley. And then you have a big map as well. There's just fields and fields all the way and there's water over here. Good place for a photo shoot. We got a lot of snacks for today. Last day in Tassi. But we got fresh vegetables as well and we are heading back home now. Plan cancelled, no more Richmond. We are heading straight back home because it's already late and it's going to be dark after one hour. So we'll just head back home now. I don't know if there will be anything to shoot, but if there's anything interesting, we'll try to shoot. I think this is the center of the Dover town. And we only found this one shopping center over here. I think we're back home. We're going to just cook dinner now. Last day in Hobart. How was, how was the trip, guys? It was so nice. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. But we are done. We still have some things to do tomorrow. So stay tuned. Bye.